double left hand from Lara. The jab is not going to be a factor in this fight. I think not. Cuts up the middle to open up the bar. There was a good right hand by Lara. He almost spent the minute rest over there. Just yeah, one or two. that's right. Lara, incidentally, does 40% of his power shots connecting. In multiple fights, he's landed the highest percentage of... Okay, so in this video we're going to be talking about how Eris Lani Lara is able to establish angles of attack as well as angles of escape. Of course, we know that the best boxers are the ones who are able to land punches on their opponents without actually giving their opponents an opportunity to punch back. And Lara is one of the best at doing this. We're going to take a look at how Lara is able to attack from one direction and then escape in a different direction. Now what you're seeing here is how Lara will create a point of attack from one specific direction as I previously mentioned. So it could be a one-two punch combination or even leading with a straight left hand. The point is the fact that the attack comes in one specific direction. And then you see he escapes in a completely different angle or a different direction. In this case, we're going to take a look at how Lara likes to escape moving laterally from his opponent after he's attacked in that forward direction. There's a double left hand from Lara. 40% of his power shots connecting. In multiple fights, he's landed the highest percentage of... Okay, so the most basic example of this is Lara's one-two punch combination. So after we see Lara use his lead hand to distract Ishe Smith, we then see him shoot the straight left hand. Notice how he pushes off his trailing foot into a forward motion. This is the point where he initiates the angle of attack, as you can see with this straight left hand. Now we're going to watch Lara shoot another straight left hand, and then we see Lara moving laterally to his left. This, of course, is the angle of escape. Notice how Lara creates a linear point of attack that was with the straight left hand, and then a predetermined linear point of escape as you see him moving laterally over to his left. Now we need to take a look at why Lara has so much success doing this. Now, in order to answer that question, the first thing we need to do is take a look at Eris Landy Lara's boxing stance. So the first thing you notice about Lara is he has a very wide boxing stance and most trainers simply do not approve of a wide stance for a number of reasons. But in Lara's case, a wide boxing stance actually helps Lara remain balanced and it actually allows him to punch with considerable power, including when he's moving backwards off of the back foot. Um, so it has its benefits for Eris Andy Lara. So as I said previously, Many boxers and trainers simply don't approve of a wide boxing stance and they prefer your feet to be much closer to each other because they feel it provides more freedom of movement in the ring. Now, in my opinion, this is entirely down to the fighter in question and you need to find what works for you. In this case, Aristani Lara is able to make the wide boxing stance work very effectively for himself. Now, getting back to the, the question, Lara's use of the lead hand to occupy or to freeze his opponents allows him to actually surprise them with quick left hands. But the crucial thing about Lara's style is that his wide boxing stance actually allows him to step outside his opponent's punching range while he's still throwing punches. So what we're going to see now is how as he shoots the straight left hand, watch his trailing foot. So you notice how unlike most southpaws, Arisani Lara actually prefers to move laterally after he throws his straight left hand out to his left. So instead of stepping out to his right around the lead foot of the of the conventional opponent, Lara will typically prefer to step over to his left, which is against conventional wisdom. Now his wide boxing stance actually allows him to cover a large distance, putting him outside the punching range of his opponent. This is where that wide boxing stance comes into play. There's a double left hand from Lara. Okay, so I've already talked about how Arislani Lara likes to create a point of attack coming from one specific direction. It could be a straight left hand, it could be a one-two combination. But now we're going to look at a second way of his escape, which is actually behind his opponent. Arislani Lara typically tends to use this off his right hook or his jab. And this actually allows Lara to turn his opponent, as well as to disorientate his opponent and to set them up for traps, which we're going to see. Because up the middle to open up that guard. There was a good right hand by Lara. There was a combination. A 
combination again by Lara. Straight left hand jab steps around his opponent. Ishe Smith turns around. See him use the jab. Straight left hand jab steps around his opponent. Beautiful boxing. And once again, we see Arislandi Lara using that lead hand as a distraction device. And then he's able to lead with a straight left hand, typically after he occupies his opponent using his jab or his lead hand. And this is why he's able to catch his opponents when they absolutely do not expect that straight left hand. And of course, we see Lara follow up with his jab. Sometimes he does follow this up with a right hook. Of course, now Lara is going to show you his line of escape, which is going to be around the lead foot of his opponent. And there you see how Lara steps his lead foot over to the outside of Ishe Smith's lead foot and therefore allows him to easily escape around a conventional opponent. And this is also how he effectively turns his, um, most of his conventional opponents and sets them up for traps, which is exactly what he's doing against Ishe Smith. So we see the straight left hand followed by the right hand. And of course, after the right hand, we notice the line of escape, which is around the lead foot of Ishe Smith. Notice how Lara is able to turn and escape via the left shoulder of his conventional opponent by stepping around his opponent. And this is, of course, the line of escape I was talking about in the beginning. And now we see, of course, that Ishe Smith commits a cardinal sin, which, of course, is turning on the spot instead of moving into the free space, which has actually been vacated by Erislandi Lara. Those of you who have been watching my videos know that when a guy attempts to spin off of you, the very last thing you do is turning on the spot because that will open you up to a number of traps. And of course, Lara is able to tag him with a straight left hand. Lara is able to successfully set up a trap for Ishe Smith by circling to the outside of his shoulder, which causes Ishe Smith to wrongfully turn on the spot directly into a straight left hand. Beautiful boxing from Eris Andy Lara. Alright, so before I end this video, I just want to quickly address the people who say Eris Landilara runs or that he's boring or all of this nonsense excuses that make no sense. To me, that is the most obvious admission that you do not enjoy or appreciate the sweet science. And in that case, you simply just need to find something else to watch because there's so much available on television right now. There is no reason why you should be watching boxing if you don't enjoy the sweet science. If you just don't um, enjoy his style, that, there are more respectful ways for you to say you don't enjoy the style. But when, when I hear people say things like he runs or that he's boring, to me, this is a casual response. This is something which we do not have to pay much attention to. You, you immediately lose credibility when you say things like this because all Lara does is box. The sport is called boxing, not fighting. This is the sport of boxing. And Lara is one of the best boxers who utilizes the sweet science. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you click the red button to subscribe to my channel if you already haven't. Then check out some of my previous videos or you could check out one of my more popular videos right now. Or you could do absolutely nothing and go out to the outro music. My cheese up, cheese yeah, up, yeah, bent white, yeah, China white, yeah, drink a perk, yeah, smoke a perk, yeah,